I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This tryouts will be Monday, January 15th, after school at the sports complex. You must be on a register my athlete to participate. There will be a tennis meeting Thursday, January 11th, after school in Ms. Streamer's room. This is a mandatory meeting because we need to go over register my athlete. Good Thursday morning, Okeechobee High School. It is Thursday. You have today and tomorrow of this first week back, and then you can get some rest this weekend. You have Monday off. Okay, so Monday there is no school. Saturday, this is a this is info for Saturday. Saturday is the Martin Luther King Jr. Day parade through the middle of Okeechobee. The lineup starts at 9 o'clock. If you're an Okeechobee High School student and want to represent Okeechobee high school in the parade then you can meet us just to the south side of Aldi's because I believe there will even be a crew from the district office going to walk in the parade I'll walk in the parade I know our JROTC is walking in the parade but if you want to come out and represent Okeechobee High School just wear your Brahmin Way shirts or any purple um, and we'll walk through the parade to, to show our support for the community um, and be a part of the community event. So just a shout out for Saturday and the people that are already been asking if we're going to take part in it. I got some good news. Got an acceptance email from India Coons. She has been accepted to the University of West Florida. Congratulations. We'll throw that in the newsletter too. Seniors, we had the meeting yesterday. Your last meeting as a class before all the events that happen at the end so hopefully you know some of the things we talked about sank in the two major things i want you to walk out of there with is i want you to think about tears for miss brewer need to be happy tears not sad tears so she's gonna need plenty of these <laughs> but they need to be happy tears because you made it not sad tears because you didn't okay so that's there you go there's your visual Sad tears, happy tears for Miss Brewer because you finished. You got to get to graduation practice. That is the key. You don't get to graduation practice if you don't meet all those requirements. So just keep this visualization in mind. Sophomores, next Wednesday we'll be talking to you. Um, we'll be honoring you with some awards that you earned even coming into the high school um, And then we'll just be talking to some of you guys about the importance of getting To graduation because you're thinking I'm a sophomore. It really doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does You need to start right now because some of you guys are Exceeding expectations and some of you guys are not meeting expectations. So we'll have that talk make sure you guys are straight so sophomore assembly will be next Wednesday and everybody on campus if you have a makeup semester exam and you have it communicated with that teacher and you have that zero sitting out there, I don't know what you're thinking. You have to make that exam up to calculate into your grades. See those teachers, get those things made up so we can get those report cards are accurate. They're not sitting there with a zero for the semester exam. So take care of your business and I'm good. What do we have? Well, tonight, um, good luck to JV and Varsity Girls Soccer as they travel to Lincoln Park. And so that's the only sporting event we have tonight. All right. Speaking of sporting events, shout out to the wrestling team. They traveled far All north the way. up to Palm Bay yesterday um, where they had their first ever team regional duel. Um, Yes, they came away with some losses, but they were really close. First match against Palm Bay was just a difference of one match for the whole team. Um, and then they ended up tying Merritt Island, but in this new team duels, they don't let you stand with a tie. Then they have a list of 10 different criteria that they look at to see who actually came out on top. So they got all the way down to the sixth <laughs> criteria and by one point, one takedown. Um, which is first point um, we lost that match so shout out to you guys you certainly represented our school well in the first ever school um, flex passes mr. Reem wanted me to let you know that you need to be stopping by picking up that flex pass form in the front office 
tomorrow is the last day that you will be allowed to leave on your off days using just your schedule. Beginning on Tuesday, if you do not have your flex pass in the window and stopping to show the gatehouse on your way out, you will not be permitted to leave campus, so make sure you're taking care of that. Also, right before break, I sent all students an email regarding an art contest sponsored by Martha's House. Um, pretty sweet gig. They're looking for a new logo for their teen violence prevention program, teen dating violence prevention program. Um, so there are different specifications that they're looking for. The deadline for those entries are going to be, it's next week on the 19th, but first place winner, $100 and two tickets to the Okeechobee Music Festival and wow. the winning design will be used as their logo for the rest of the year, put on t-shirts, put on all their marketing materials, so it's a pretty sweet deal. If you are interested in that and cannot find the original email, shoot me an email and I'll send it to you. It's going to be famous. Yeah. Leave your mark. That's awesome. Shout out to the teachers also that have been using what they learned Monday with Khan and trying to get those classes linked. I've been getting some good emails and good feedback back. Um, so if you haven't sent me anything, just some positives, some negatives, some questions. Um, but students, your teachers are a little bit better equipped now for linking you in Khan um, and using that information to help you in classes. So moving forward, being great, being Brahmins every day, that's what you need to do. Move forward.